All right guys, I am back at Havoc Bike Co. And I am now gonna be reviewing the Yeti SB150. This bike has been getting so much raves because obviously Richie Root has been going out there and dominating with this bike and it's like their new, Yeti's new enduro bike. So I'm gonna go in here, go pick it up and tomorrow, first thing, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna get a review of it for you guys. So let's go ahead in there, go check it out. Video brought to you by Havoc Bikes. Yes, that was my voice. Andres, is this the bike right here? It's all ready to go? That is it, man. That's all, all right. you. All right, man. So I'm going to take it out tomorrow. Yep. Check you got it out. yourself uh, the big 150 Beast now. You get to go play around with Greer and um, definitely uh, go check out Insidious, man. That's what this bike was meant for. All right. Point it downhill. Take it against the biggest rock you can find. It will eat up all the terrain. I mean, you saw what Richie did this year on this bike, so let's go see uh, what you can do on it. I will give Richie Rude a run for his money. <laughs> no, I won't. After riding the SB100 today, mm -hmm. this bike right here, it, it proves the point. I rode an SB100, 100, 100 uh, millimeters travel, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. I did fine on my trails. Mm -hmm. I did fine on all the trails that I usually smash with my trail bike or whatever, you know, at my speed. And for some reason, people just think they need all of this all of this bike, you know, but they can really have just as much fun on a smaller travel bike. How, but, but my riding, I'm not a jumper. I'm not a crazy jumper. There is that. So just know, but a lot of us guys aren't there aren't. And I just want to get rid of this whole, oh, we have to have all this big suspension because I want you guys to be happy with your bikes. And a lot of you guys get a big enduro bike and go, oh, um, it doesn't climb that well. So you might as well go with something sometimes, depending on your riding, that just climbs a little bit better. However, we're in Southern California, we and are. a lot of guys smash out here yep. way more than me. So this really is the bike for a lot of people definitely here in SoCal. It is. So. I mean, it's, it's your all-around bike, like you mentioned with the 100. It is capable of doing and handling anything you put at it on the trail with a different approach to it. You got to have a better technique, a better, you know, pick your lines a little smarter. With the bike like this, you can actually kind of take that away. You can actually choose any line you want, and this bike will direct you through it. It has enough travel, it has the geometry that it needs to be that's, you know, more aggressive bound to where even a, you know, intermediate to beginner rider will most likely go through some terrain they weren't expecting to be able to handle just because of the capability of the bike. As in for the 100, you need to have a different type of skill level to get it through the chunkier things, but it has more enough the capability to be able to do so. Um, for Southern California, like you mentioned, there's a lot of shredders out here. There's a lot of guys that go big. They also have Summit in their backyard. And if you really wanted to take a drive for the weekend, up to Mammoth. I mean, Mammoth is meant for a bike like this, you know? But ultimately, you'll have fun no matter where you go, as long as you just enjoy being on the trail, man. And on that note, bike parks are huge out here. For me, I am a trail rider. I love trails. I maybe go to the bike park once a year. So that's why my opinion is, you know, formulated in that way. But I just want to let you guys know, you know, to, I want to inform you guys and educate you the best I can from my perspective. You know what I mean? That's, you know, just to give you a little bit like that. But so let's get out there. Well, actually, I'm not getting out there. I'm going home, going to sleep and getting some food. And then tomorrow I'm going to get out there. But dude, get thank you so much. No problem, Tony. Thank you, man. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, man. Sounds good. this place I just haven't been here in so long man it's oh my gosh it's to think every day I was able to come out here it's just beautiful but today we're doing the SB 150 I know I'm not saying that for the first time in this video but it feels like I need to say it again because it's like the next day so I'm gonna get out I got me some oatmeal got some coffee gonna fuel up and then we're gonna get out there and I'm gonna ride this beast of a bike I went from the SB 100 yesterday to this one this bike is significantly bigger so All right, so I want to tell you about the components to this guy. So this is not your average build. This build is probably one of the craziest builds I have ever seen. Um, when I took it home last night and I actually like tripped out, I didn't even think about it. I just picked up the bike from Havoc Bicycle Shop and I was like, okay, 
Um, I just brought it inside and I started looking at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, like the components to this thing are like crazy high end. I didn't realize how specced out this bike was, but I wanted to go over some of that with you guys so you guys are more in the loop. All right, so they got MV, stem, and bars. We got Fox Factory 36 forks, rear shock, float X2. We got Magura brakes. We have SRAM Eagle, a water bottle cage with Rhino product, Magura brake levers, wolf tooth lever, and of course, my final favorite, carbon fiber spacers. All right guys, so this, this build is, yes, quite extravagant. Nonetheless, the bike's pretty dang heavy. So, but we're gonna get it strapped up, get everything going right now, and we're gonna get to it. Feels. I love the climbing position for an enduro bike. This bike feels, I just feel over the pedals. I don't get that sensation of like pedaling forward like I was saying. This is probably the most comfortable climber. Endur end the most end comfortable enduro climber I've been on. Insidious trail. Dude's going to OTB. That's the sign, you know, so. Perfect place to test the whip out. It's one of those trails that ain't about getting down fast. It's about just getting down okay. Cool. What a magic carpet ride. Six, making it feel easy for sure. Going pretty slow, but uh, made it through without taking my feet off the pedals. That's my only goal. <laughs> Feeling the cramps. Oh, yeah. Feel <laughs> I had a chain guard. Uh, yeah, I want to check this. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a chain guard on this bad boy yet. I don't want to hit anything. Yeah, with these Enduro bikes, it's just less clearance. Because they're lower and slacker. Yep. You doggy. Oh, that would be a bomb. Oh, man, it's one of those where it feels like I could do it. <laughs> Woo! 
Oh my gosh. I have to say, the SP6 made me feel really comfortable. Oh my gosh, love it. Like, the way that that felt, I could do it again and again. Oh my gosh, you can call it SP6. SP150, it's a magic carpet ride for sure. Nice day to ride. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, this is MV. Yeah, MV stem, MV, MV uh, bars, um, and uh, Knox carbon rims. This thing is, got one up. these uh, yeah, hubs are they insane. They call it the Andrew B. Yeah. They call it the Andrew B, the Chris King. And they like, they like change sound, it's a trip. It's, they call it the Angry Bee sound. Yeah, it's, oh, it sounds like it. <laughs> it's awesome, man. I just, uh, they just that's, sound so cool. Where's Havoc? It's off of Jefferson. If you guys aren't familiar with this area, they always make these pretty cool signs and stuff like that. It's pretty rad, so. All right, let's get it. This trail is freaking, I love this trail. It is such a good job on this trail. So far it's monster trucking. Go! Oops. Ah. Yeah, some of these, when they throw you into these berms, are just so weird. I mean, that's just one of the things that sucks that I was trying to work on. These steeper, ruddy berms. And there's not really any of these in Texas, so. Mastering them is gonna have to wait for when I come out here. But man, this SB 150 is dope. I really miss riding clipless. I, these flats are really giving me a run for my Mondays. They're just I'm always, I don't know. I'm always having problems with pedals. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. Go! Oh, totally. Man, that was not good. I used to clear those when I was here last time. I was kind of waiting to do those this whole time and I wasn't able to make it, but it's okay. Ah, oh, man. Heck of fun. I'm just trying to enjoy it. So I still haven't got to the second part of overdrive yet. Chunk it a chunk. That's what I love. <laughs> Got an SP. That's how sweet it is. How's it going, guys? Alright, guys, I'll see ya. No more scratches. No more scratches. Oh, that would have been.
All right, so let's go. This is all new. Riding blind. Whoa, this is cranker. That's different. Yo, I'm having a good time. Okay, this monster truck in this thing alone. Oh my gosh, come on. Need more speeds. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That was good. That would be cool to hit with some speed. Oh my gosh. What? This is quite the roller. You guys gonna roll this? Yeah. You gonna roll it? <laughs> Woohoo! You lie, man. Right? Wow, right. that's like the sketchiest like yeah. one here, dude. Yeah. Alright. Did it man. Yeah, I did it. Woo! Alright. I rock roll. <laughs> no, no scratches. No, stop it. <laughs> ah. All right, guys, so final thoughts. Final thoughts on the SB150. The best climbing enduro bike I've been on. It's a monster. It feels like a park bike. It's heavy. Um, like I said, I don't think I'll ever go enduro, but I mean, these bikes are just becoming so much more comfortable to climb and just so much more just, I don't know. They feel like more downhill bike slash better climbing is what I keep feeling when I get on these better and newer bikes. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. It's It was a great bike. I was so stoked to go down on a lot of the rides. Even when I was feeling fatigued, I was like, I'm so stoked. I would get this feeling of just to get back into it, you know. Again, uh, go check out Habit Bikes in Marietta, California. Made this possible. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Stay tuned. This is N2B dropping. Dropping out. Stay strong, keep pedaling, guys.